We're sitting here talking to Ava, a former patient of the beach coma, and we're discussing emotional freedom technique, EFT. Ava, can you tell us a little bit about your experience with EFT? Well, it was interesting because I had had many years of sobriety in recovery, and I came here uh, because I'd gotten addicted to pain medication because my doctor advised me to take the medication. And I thought that was the only alternative. And when I, when I came here, um, one of the therapists had said to me, why don't we try this? And I'm like, I had no idea what it was. And it was an experience. I couldn't believe it. It was, it was so simplistic, but it was also um, fascinating because when I came here, my feet were swollen. I had numbness in my feet. I had had severity of pain for over a year and a half. And I'm on my feet, I'm a hair designer. And um, it was like, will this work? Because I always thought that the narcotics was gonna make it work. And that's what I ended up getting addicted to. And I had lost my years of sobriety and came here. And when, uh, when they did it for me, I was like, yeah, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't work. You know, and after being here for the for 30 days or 28 days I was here, I started already seeing like, wow, you know. And uh, one of the other therapists said, how's your feet feeling? And I, it didn't really, it didn't even dawn on me. But the next thing you know, I started getting feeling back in my feet. And the redness started to go away. I mean, my feet were like puffed out like that when I arrived here. So um, it was a... Uh, like I said, it was strange to, to do the tapping here and the tapping here and, you know, and I realize now, you know, it hits all the major organs in your body as well as the smaller ones. And uh, so I went ahead and did it, whether I believed it or not. And by the time I left here, it was like a 180. I mean, it was tremendous. Um, after I left, I wasn't, uh, I thought, you know, I was okay, you know, and the pain had really gotten much better. But then I stopped doing it. And uh, the pain started coming back again. You know, the, the, the numbness, uh, you know, I thought, oh my gosh, you know, what I'm gonna do? And I'm not going back on medication again. So I thought, well, I'll try doing it back home again. And I started doing it again, and I haven't stopped. I continue to do it. I'm able to work. I'm able to supply, uh, you know, my income for my children. I'm a single mom, and I won't stop. And now I'm like telling everybody about it because it's been, it's, it's life changing. I understand your pain level on a scale of 1 to 10 was at about a 9 when you first started this. What would you say it's at now? Miraculously, I don't have any. I don't have any pain. Yeah. I know that sounds crazy um, for some people that is in chronic pain and like I was with uh, the Lyme's disease. And you know, Lyme's disease is like having, you know, fibromyalgia, arthritis, and lupus all in one. So it affects all of your body, you know, not just your feet. But, uh, you know, I couldn't move my joints, I couldn't lift my arms, um, and I had done everything. I had done hyperbaric chamber, I had did, I did uh, you know, infrared beds, I did uh, the medication, non-narcotic and then narcotic. You know, I did everything I thought that I could do to make it uh, okay, but it didn't work. So this has definitely given me, you know, I'm fine. I feel good. I feel healthy. Sounds like you're a, a big proponent of EFT. No, EFT has changed my life has totally changed my life. Thank you. You're welcome.